Uh, but it's been like that since 2005. Why, so this though? is nothing. But why is it in shambles? Because we have a man of power and authority, and he used that. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You <laughs> but it's been like that since 2005, so this is nothing. Why is it in? Because we have a man of power and authority. And he used that they just tell the stories this my thanks. To my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife, you forget that in an unfolding drama that's sending shockwaves through the entertainment industry cat. Williams has unleashed a fiery salvo against none other than Steve Harvey. This isn't your everyday celebrity squabble. It's a full-blown expose with Willie accusing Harvey of joke theft, embellishing his well-known rags to riches story, and even mistreating his ex-wife Mary. We've seen our share of celebrity conflicts, but this one's packing a punch that could seriously dent Harvey's reputation. And guess what it's not just Cat Williams stirring the pot Mary stead. Ex-wife is throwing her weight behind these claims. You know he's a man with the power he's in 60 markets. He's written these books, you know he's socially connected, with the programs and Disney and all the ease type people she's not holding back either, detailing her grievances about Steve's infidelity financial manipulation and disturbing allegations of abuse towards their son. It's a tale of deception and betrayal that's as riveting as it is unsettling, continuing the explosive revelations from Kat. Williams the comedian didn't stop at just accusing Steve Harvey of joke theft and questioning his rags to Rich's story in what seems like a no-holds-barred verbal battle cat, also shed light on Steve's elgs. Shay's shady behavior during their comedy tour days, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week cat revealed during his appearance on Club. Shay referencing their time touring together the jaw-dropping numbers left listeners wondering about the truth behind Steve. Harvey's claims of financial struggle is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, but it's not just the alleged financial fabrication that has people buzzing Cat Williams pointedly meant it. One Steve's ever-popular narrative of overcoming homelessness, Steve Harvey was never homeless. He declared firmly challenging the core of Steve's motivational story. Like Steve Harvey tell telling people he used to be homeless, that's my story, that's not his story. Steve has often shared his personal journey from homelessness to success as a motivational tale. However, Kat claimed that Steve was exaggerating his hardships. And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best. Line up in the business and it's a man unit Kat, who has a similar story of overcoming adversity, contended that Steve was misrepresenting his past for dramatic effect it's a bold accusation given that Steve's story of triumph over adversity has inspired countless fans over the years it's an eyebrow. Raising revelation that makes you question the authenticity of one of Steve's most iconic anecdotes. Could it be that the story of Steve Harvey's humble beginnings has been carefully crafted to boost his image? Cat Williams certainly seems to think so, adding more fuel to the fire of this celebrity feud continuing the explosive revelations from Cat Williams. The comedian didn't hold back when it came to Steve Harvey's personal life according to Cat Steve Harvey's carefully crafted image as a successful family man is nothing but a facade. Like, what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history, Cat pointed out that Steve has been married three times, which seems at odds with his peak. Ublick persona as a devoted family man, he alleged that Steve left his first wife when he achieved his initial taste of success, suggesting that Harvey prioritized his career over his family. But it didn't stop there, Cat also claimed that Steve was unfaithful during his second marriage casting doubt on Harvey's image as a faithful partner. Perhaps the most shocking revelation was Cat's suggestion that Steve began dating his current wife Marjorie while still married to his second wife eventually leaving, and her for Marjorie. And then there's the curious silence from Steve Harvey himself on January 7, 2024. He took to social media to cryptically address the situation, quoting a Bible verse about dealing with enemies 
you don't have to address your hatters he posted alongside a video clip of his game show seemingly unfaced by Cat Williams' accusations. Does his nonchalant response signify confidence in his version of events? Or is he choosing to remain silent for strategic reasons you get surrounded or bomb? Barded with negativity, you have a tendency to look at it, to focus on it, man, you've really got to replace those as the tension between Cat Williams and Steve Harvey simmers. It's clear that this feud is far from over with both sides firmly entrenched in their positions. It's anyone's guess how this high-stake showdown will ultimately unfold, continuing the explosive revelations surrounding the Steve Harvey controversy. Mary Harvey Steve's ex-wife has emerged as a key player confirming many of the all. Agations made against the beloved comedian while some might question her motives, Mary's recent outpouring of grievances on social media has shed light on the dark under of their tumultuous past. No fury like a woman scorned while Steve's learning that the hard way tonight. Steve's ex-wife Mary. Harvey is angry, and she's going public in a series of four emotionally charged videos posted just two days ago. Mary Harvey laid bare her raw emotions and recounted her experiences during and after her high. Profile divorce from Steve these videos, although difficult to watch, offer a glimpse into the pain and anguish that has haunted her for over a decade. Mary Harvey's claimed that Steve abruptly cut her off from the lavish lifestyle they once shared is a heartbreaking revelation. In her own words, she expressed how she went from rubbing shoulders with a list celebrities and being courted by top fashion designers to experiencing a sudden isolation that often accompanies divorce. Her statement is a point and reminder that the fallout from a celebrity divorce can be just as harsh and unforgiving as any other in the aftermath of their split Mary received three of Steve's homes in a substantial monthly allowance of 40000 until 2000 annually, until 2009, beyond that she was awarded a lump sum of $19 million, however. Despite these provisions, Mary's life took a dramatic turn, for the worse the fact that financially my life is in a shamble. That is absolutely she faced legal troubles, including an arrest related to an alleged child. A port order she claimed to be unaware of, in addition, a gag order was imposed effectively silencing her, and she lost all contact with her son Winon. He took my Winon, took my Winon. Why my nigh, turn my son against me. Mary Story paints a tragic picture of a woman who once enjoyed the trappings of wealth and fame only to be left grappling with the consequences of her failed marriage. While some might argue that her situation is not unique, her public struggle to regain a sense of identity and stability. I is a testament to the lasting impact of a high-profile divorce, but there is another layer to this ongoing saga that has garnered significant attention. It revolves around the allegations that Steve Harvey cheated on Mary with his current wife Marjorie Harvey during their marriage this startling. Revelation adds a new dimension to the narrative, turning the tables on the comedian and raising questions about his own fidelity as far as when Steve and I got together. He had a whole another idea of what he was planning on doing after his divorce, according to reports Marjorie was once Steve Sid Chick. While he was still married to Mary, she not only played a role in his extramarital affair, but also assisted him in securing legal counsel during their divorce proceedings this revelation has sparked at. Storm of speculation on social media, with many Nissan dubbing it as karma coming back to haunt Steve Marjorie's recent divorce filing, with intentions to claim a significant portion of Steve's estimated $400 million net worth has ignited a fiery legal battle. This dramatic twist has left Steve Harvey facing the possibility of losing a substantial portion of his wealth. Mirroring the financial turmoil that Mary once experienced, stop, stop. Ignoring the red flags in your relationship and thinking you can change a man as he bury a civil rights activist and widow of Fred Ron Berry from the sitcom. What's happening has also entered the fry. She has been diligently investigating Steve Harvey's actions and 
The alleged collusion during the divorce proceedings with Mary Berry contends that Steve falsely accused her of being involved in extorting money from him and spreading lies, which she vehemently denies Barry's demand for a face-to-face -face apology. From Steve Harvey has added a new layer of tension to the already contentious situation. She insists that Mary Harvey's rights were violated when a gag order silenced her freedom of speech, preventing her from revealing the truth about the divorce and asset. Division and anybody who befriended Mary, anybody who came in contact with Mary Steve, was trying to put a gag or against them. One of the most shocking claims from Essie Berry is that Steve Harvey married Marjorie in June 2007, while still in the process of dividing assets with Mary this. Startling revelation raises legal questions about the validity of Steve and Marjorie's marriage and the potential for bigamy charges court documents from Harris County, Texas, reveal that asset division was still on go. Ng at that time, furthermore, Documents suggest that Marjorie used the Harvey name for purchases even while Steve was still legally married to Mary, which could constitute identity theft. Barry asserts that Steve Harvey has gone to great lengths to protect his image, including threatening Mary with a 28-year prison sentence and a blackmail letter dated April 7, 2009. To maintain her silence, said, If I said something, they won't put Mary in jail for 28 years. Berries all.